What do we need to know when we show up to watch Robert Henry live? Uh, you got to be prepared to dance and have a great time. You said it all. Okay, that's what we do in the Outlaw Dojo. We showcase and or review songs submitted by independent artists such as Robert Henry and the Repeaters. Mm -hmm. Here comes Give Me a Guitar by Robert Henry and the Repeaters. Despite a world full of knowledge, wisdom's hard to find. I search for the answers, read between the lines. Twenty years gone in the blink of an eye. As I try to make sense of this young life of mine. Well, I played me some country and I played rock and roll. But that old lonesome whistle blows right through my soul Had the travel and fever now for quite some time But rambling ain't easy when you ain't got a gun So Lord, take me back to the old times I'll drink some of yesterday's wine Light me a smoke Give Me a Guitar by State of Oregon Outlaw Country Band, Robert Henry and the Repeaters. The dojo is lighting up. DJ Rock and Robin, what are your thoughts on Give Me a Guitar? I love that song. That was amazing. Love it. Love it. Here we are, April 2024. That song, Give Me a Guitar, was released mm -hmm. earlier this year on their album called The Way It Usually Goes. That's what we do here in the studio. We promote shows, songs, albums. Check out the album, The Way It Usually Goes, released early 2024 by State of Oregon Outlaw Country Band, Robert Henry and the Repeaters. Shout out to Rochambeau, moderating the dojo from Central Texas. Mm, I know Rochambeau. And Robin, I know where he lives. Yeah, yeah. I know where he lives. You know his address. Maybe at least his 
P.O. Box. I'll be in Texas in four days. Robin, just so you are reminded, you have your own camera, excuse me, your own oh. screen with your dojo as Rochambeau my... gives some feedback. He says, this song jams, this song being mm -hmm. Give Me a Guitar by Robert Henry and the Repeaters. Mm -hmm. Rochambeau, thanks for that feedback. And thank you to DJ Rock and Robin for joining the mm -hmm. Outlaw Dojo for this episode 24 15 nice. of the Outlaw Dojo on the Hearing is mm -hmm. Fun YouTube channel. DJ Robin, you're up next. Segment check. Give me a guitar showcased. It's time to turn now to our next segment, which requires us to put DJ Rock and Robin's name right there. <laughs> Okay, Rock and Robin, how about you give us a snapshot of what you've been up to lately since the last episode you starred on, and then give us a little teaser on what your topic's going to be for today. Well, you don't really want to know what I've, what I've been up to uh, the past. It's been a while since I've, since I've been on, right? It's been a few weeks, and that's a great lead-in that we don't really want to know what you've been up you to. You don't want to know. So either. that says it all. Moving right along, since we don't want to know what we don't want to know. You don't want to know what you don't want to know. But my topic for tonight, we have two, two topics that we can go to. We can do ghosting, or we can do the five love languages. So DJ are... Rock and Robin, as we kind of truck in a nice pace through this episode, let's mm -hmm. go ahead and touch on both your topics. Maybe one now and then one after break. Your okay. two topics that you've been researching <laughs> and preparing to showcase was one, the topic of ghosting. Yep. Mm -hmm. And two, the topic that is the five love languages. I took mm -hmm. part in a conversation with you and others where we touched mm -hmm. on the five love languages. So I feel like I'm geared up to maybe bring- You think there's more than five love languages. I right? know there's more than five. Mm -hmm. Five basic love languages. An author decided to put in the book that there is five. So I'm aware that there's five according to the author. I'm right. not arguing with those five. I'm just saying the book says there's five doesn't right. mean that there's five. It just means the book says there's five. Right. And I feel like astrology and a lot of things, that's just a good way. Start with a reasonable number of anything to help us get our minds around everything. Mm -hmm. So how about we just do ghosting? How about we say DJ Rock and Robin? I'm mm -hmm. pointing the canon on you mm -hmm. thank you for kicking off this next segment of episode 24 15 of the outlaw dojo on the hearing is fun youtube channel dj yeah. rock and robin has a presentation on ghosting as you see fit please let it fly uh i don't really have a presentation prepared but uh just based out of experience, I was married for 25 years, um, dating scene, like the past year and a half, um, I've had a couple experiences with ghosting, and um, it's pretty interesting. So ghosting is when you think you have a relationship with somebody and you texting, whatever, communicating, and then all of a sudden go silent and like okay well that's pretty interesting why did that happen like dj rock and robin i'm just going to reinforce and as so let's say it's not a presentation so i'm not trying no, to call it not, what it's not I but but no it it's still fascinating and it's information for us to receive mm -hmm. and appreciate thank you for jumping into the definition of ghosting you're noting ghosting for those of us who like that catchy sounding word but don't really know what that means ghosting means when one thinks they're in a relationship and or is in a relationship with somebody not, and the text it doesn't, slash, it doesn't even have to be a relationship not i'm not even going as far as a relationship okay with somebody you meet like whatever you have it like and then all of a sudden like no communication like yeah okay maybe you know, just say, it's not, this is not working out for me, moving on, like, just say something, say something. 
what I'm saying. Key phrase, no communication. So it's your presentation, but I'm going to just reinforce. A relationship can mean a relationship between two brothers, right? Two neighbors, right. two friends, two lovers, two people romantically inclined or people mm -hmm. that are just friendly inclined. So a relationship can just mean what it means, a relationship right. between two people. Ghosting means when there is a royal relationship and one party ceases to the phenomenon of abruptly disappearing from people's lives isn't new like whatever just disappearing disappearing okay ghosting is like, when somebody disappears from someone's life including their text and telephone correspondence uh-huh Boom. Thank you for the clarity on what ghosting is. Uh -huh. How about we transition to chapter I two? I didn't have any experience of that. Like, obviously. Married 25 years. Didn't have any experience of that. Started dating. A new experience for me. And DJ Rock and Robin, a great experience for me. In this Dr. Phil kind of moment, it's just a shame for me to make adjustments. I like how you're pointed towards me and I'm going to do the same kind of point towards you. Mm -hmm. So let's take a moment to do that. But would you shift like your, your main core closer mm -hmm. to the microphone? Yes. Or, or do that lean in every time that way our volumes are about the same and I'm going to do the same. I'm good with that. Okay. Yeah. Way more <laughs> empathetically and I'll kiss the microphone. Yeah. And you come from the background of media tv and radio so mm -hmm. what i'm saying is only worthwhile mm -hmm. if you maintain something like that i'll maintain something like this so we can maintain mm -hmm. this contact knee to knee contact that i think facilitates mm -hmm. a new topic for the dojo ghosting you have declared defined what ghosting is you have noted that mm -hmm. your history of your life up I until don't recently, fucking like it. You can't say that. You can't say that. Wait, we're not on FCC. We're not on the radio. How about I'll, I'll, I'll champion, say, I'll champion okay, what we can say fine. and can't say, but all feedback welcome. Fine. Just trying to bring us back to where we're at. We now know what ghosting is, and we now know in the history of your life, you have been part of zero ghosting until now, or are you preparing for potential ghosts? Are you looking forward to I've be the ghost, ghosted. the ghoster? Okay. I've been ghosted. There's the chapter two I was, I was targeting. Mm -hmm. In the history of your life, including of late, mm -hmm. you have been the recipient of the ghost. Mm -hmm. Please share more as, <laughs> as you see fit. I mean, I'm not, well, please continue as you see fit now that you have noted you have been the recipient of the ghost, or if that's all you really wanted to say about it, then we'll move past that. Here's what I have to say. Why ghost? Like, honestly, we're, we're adults. We're adults. I'm 51. Like, we're adults. If you don't want to continue this, like, just say. Just say. Like, why just cut off communication? Like, I'm not ready for it. Moving on. Don't like you. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, we're adults. Just say what you want to say. DJ Rock and Robin, you arrived at the thesis, and I'm so glad I didn't walk you towards a direction you didn't want to go. I get it now. Where you wanted to go was what you just said. Mm -hmm. Why ghost? Right. So we'll open it up for the Outlaw Dojo to share their thoughts, mm -hmm. input. That's what we do. We get feedback from the Outlaw Dojo. Feedback from me, feedback and thoughts from you. That's our topic today under the umbrella of ghosting, specifically <laughs> why ghost. Now, Robin, you got to take over the mic because I got to jump on the air. We know that what you're bringing to the table is a simple question, why ghost? Rochambeau has some thoughts. Does he? He says... I'm excited to hear that. Okay, here's thoughts. Remember, you have Rochambeau right there on your screen. 
but I know, but I'm blind. Okay, okay. Rocket Robin, say good riddance. Yeah, for sure. Thank yeah. you very much. So Rochambeau gave you a pep talk, and then he's offering his opinions. Mm -hmm. I think people ghost because of cowardice and insecurities. Mm -hmm. Okay, why ghost, cowardice, and insecurity? I'm going to claim that under the question of why ghost because people don't know what to say they don't know what to say or how to say it so they just go with nothing to say i would disagree with that okay hence the outlaw dojo has officially and this is begun based on my age so this is just off my experience in my early 50s, divorced for a year and a half. Um, when we're my age, there's a lot of different factors that come into play. There's children, there's divorces, there's jobs, there's a lot of different factors that come into play. And so, Um, what I've experienced for ghosting is there's like a connection and then all of a sudden it's like, okay, I've got to get back to reality. It's like, I have a child, I have the res responsibilities, like I can't be with you. Fine. Like, that's fine. I understand that. Just let me know. Like, let me know. <laughs> like, that's fine. I'm going to tack on and have you just keep going. But it potentially goes without saying, but let's just say it out loud. Adjacent to, connected to ghosting in the form of correspondence turns into zero correspondence mm -hmm. simultaneously goes with i do not want to be in a relationship with you right safe to say right so like duh but i feel like let's yeah. just clarify that because it could be i ghosted you because my phone broke or i ghosted you no. okay so like but let's those are outliers so just <laughs> hang on no. just saying no. as you build the building blocks with ghosting comes the feeling the belief that the ghoster doesn't want to continue proceed with a relationship so ghosting no wanting to proceed an example of a reason why someone can't proceed or doesn't want to proceed could be their offspring children situation their work situation you named a couple but we could brainstorm on all kinds of reasons are the reasons why they want to stop engaging in a relationship that's reasonable or at least understandable it's the ghosting that is not understandable Fine. is that correct exactly like totally understandable like i get it not ready just say that it's that simple like i'm in my 50s i've experienced a lot of shit like fine whatever I, I'll do whatever just express it like it's fine one sentence not ready for it one sentence uh, I, I can't do this right now like honestly why do you have to stay silent like just respond to something DJ Rock and Robin what a fun simple topic <laughs> It's a fun topic. It's a well, great topic. Fun may be the wrong word, but it's a... So, again, I want you to keep going, or at least you go or we go the direction that you want to go. Mm -hmm. Fun was the wrong word. Some things are simple, but not easy. Mm -hmm. Don't confuse simple and easy. Mm -hmm. You have a very simple premise today. Why ghost, right? Right. It's a, clearly a difficult answer not very easy to understand and explain, but very simple to ask one of the most basic, simple sentences of all time yeah. with a question mark, why ghost? Mm -hmm. And now I'm getting more and more clarity. Why ghost 
which is such a simple question or topic, but also why ghost when it is so simple and in this case easy to communicate, I do not want to proceed. I can't proceed. I need some time. I'm out. Right. Not ready. Anything. 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 Robin, you came up with a great topic <laughs> for today. Why ghost when something that will accomplish where you stand, mm -hmm. something will communicate where you stand, because with ghosting also comes with, I don't want to proceed. It is so simple mm -hmm. and easy, it mm -hmm. seems. The key must be it's not as easy as it seems. So we'll just say it's so simple to text a two-word text, I'm okay. out. Yeah. That would be better than nothing, honestly. Honestly, that's better than nothing. Yeah. And Just so saying. simple. Just saying. Okay. DJ Rock and Robin, let's digest. We got Rochambeau in the dojo. We got our Wait, topic, God, Why have, Ghost? That's actually... Responded? We don't have any other comments. Well, it takes a little while for the dojo delay to catch up. Robin, let's go on break here in a few minutes. Let's go say hi to some of the crew members of a ship that are here listening to Stone Jacks O'Clock downstairs in the restaurant proper, that is Washougal Times Restaurant and Lounge. Remember, there is a delay with the dojo. Rochambeau's additional thoughts are profound point of view, Rockin' Robin. Simply mm -hmm. say something. Anything yeah, for sure. versus ghost. Anything. So simple, it's crazy. Yeah, you're right. Anything. Anything. Here's what I have to say. F you. That's what I have to say. Whoa. F you. And the last chief name registered at stonejacks.com since last Wednesday is chief aiming for classy not just sexy oh who registered that name i wonder now we got to respect anonymity oh. mm. with the respect for anonymity we can't say mm. who registered any given names dj rock and robin uh -huh. but the third and final chief name that is now on mm. the chief name manifest is chief aiming for classy not just sexy you or anyone can go to stonejacks.com click on chief names that'll take you to the chief name manifest review all the chief names the hundreds of chief names that have been registered at stonejacks.com since the year 2000 we have 24 what? we have 24 years of chief mm. names at stonejacks.com how do okay. we pick the best let's do that sometime what we have now, Robin, is the best that is you. Episode 2415 of the Outlaw Dojo on the Hearing is Fun YouTube channel. Please welcome back DJ Rockin' Robin back to the studio for this episode. Back in the studio after previous epi episodes. Robin, the floor is yours as we transition into segment three, the five love languages. Yes, so we're going to address the five love languages, which I wasn't really keen on until recently, but I think it's good to address, which I think everybody at different points in their life might have a different love language, honestly. 20s, 30s, married, unmarried, divorced, whatever. I think you have a different love language. So here's our love language options, right? Words of affirmation acts of service physical touch quality time and receiving gifts so dj hondo do you have a, a preference love language at this point in your life this may have been different than 20 years ago in your life but what at this stage in your life what is your love language back rubs this physical touch perfect I would say at this point in my life, I would say physical touch is probably my primary. Secondary would be acts of service. Mm -hmm. 
Robin, working backwards, mm -hmm. your number three, top three at present, as you noted, they can change or do change for folks over I time. I think so. I think they do. Okay. Acts of service. And for clarity, are we talking love languages with respect to the language we like to receive love? Yes. As opposed yes. to the language we give no, love? No, 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 no. We, what we want what we want what we need in our life what do you need what do you need when it comes to the love language that communicates what you need to feel love receive love feel love your top three starting from number three working to the top number three is acts of service mm, no no okay if we're doing three i would do um, affirmation, acts of service, physical touch as number one. Okay. And I was trying to get too crafty on working backwards. Number one at present, the love language you get the most, feel the most, most appreciate the most love is physical touch. Yeah. Okay. I was trying to save that one for last, but, okay. but let's, let's do that. Either two or three for you is what you said, affirmation, a.k.a. words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. okay. Would you mind describing and elaborating on what does words of affirmation mean? What's some examples of words of affirmation? Uh, I guess just, I don't know, like, you're doing a great job. Like, I love you. I don't know. Like. But I bet you know better than folks that don't know. So, and that makes perfect sense. Words of affirmation, sentences, words, yeah, communications. I love you. So here's you're doing a great job. Uh, let's see what it says. Sorry. Uh... My mind goes to some people like don't have the internet. Some people don't read books, but of course so many people do just in case we're clarifying one of the love languages words of affirmation is exactly what it sounds like words sentences that yeah. express affirmation that are affirmation what? you and others enjoy getting your love via words of affirmation mm -hmm. okay now how about number two or number three for you acts of service what do you mean so what is it meant by acts so of service that is just doing things that you wouldn't expect so take out the garbage oh i don't have to take out the garbage you're gonna take out the great do the dishes like acts of service like anything that's like not expected i guess that would be like well and again I don't know. Anything. You you know better than someone who truly doesn't know. Some examples of acts of service is when your loved one expresses their love and or they do something that you feel love in the form of an act that is a mm -hmm. service that is taking out the garbage, a.k.a. taking the garbage out doing for you, dishes. doing the like, dishes for you, doing the filling dishes, up your car with gas. filling up your car Making with gas. dinner going to the grocery store like anything that you don't have to do that's that'd be amazing I've never experienced that <laughs> you just know you find it lovely that's kind of funny mm -hmm. i've never experienced it but i know i'd be mm -hmm. in love with it that's funny robin okay then how about we get to physical touch and let's practice when you talk while i'm talking on the air i'll try to keep it short and sweet but i feel like Words of affirmation make sense. Acts of service make sense, which leaves your number one physical uh, touch, physical touch. And maybe that one's self-explanatory too, but Robin, don't worry about talking when I'm talking if you want to talk about physical touch. We touched earlier on the five languages and then we all commented, including Rochambeau and the dojo, what language we like to receive love in. Mm -hmm. How about we transition into like know thyself, 
what do we all think is the primary language or love language that we give or communicate love with? I think that depends on the person, right? I bet it depends on the person. Robin, how about we start with the first person, you. How would you describe how you communicate or show mm. love? I would say my primary is physical. Physical touch. But that hasn't always been the case. So I would say... It depends on the phase of life you're in. Because that could change, right? So on the macro level, those same, five, those same five love languages, any one person can use one or five to communicate and show their love. Mm -hmm. On a macro level, one's primary communication love language that they show love can change. At present, you're willing to note, and again, not trying to take a, a bridge too far, but you're willing and you're noting that at present, you would say the number one primary way you communicate and show love is physical touch. Mm -hmm. However, that's not necessarily the case your entire life. Right. Would you yeah, want to right. share what your former primary love language that, that you used to use to show and showcase love? I would say like while I was married, probably acts of service would have been more. But that was because, you know, you're married, you have children, like it's a different perspective. Like I was doing a lot of stuff. So at that point in my life, been like do anything for me would have been nice that would have been so yeah i think it's just i think it's different based on that phase of your life that you're in honestly and let's reinforce that you're vouching for it mm -hmm. um like the book itself the thesis the book itself notes there's five love languages mm -hmm. notes that one can receive and enjoy and appreciate receiving love mm -hmm. via those five ways more than, you know, one way more than the other. The book's noting one can communicate and show love in one of those, one to five of those ways to more degrees, one or the other. Mm -hmm. And it's noting one's love language to show or to receive changes and can change over life. Mm -hmm. And then you're noting that you agree with the book. You're noting you find the book accurate. Yeah, like, I don't know. I mean, I think, I think the five love languages are accurate. And I think, but I th also think that can change over the course of your life. Okay. Based on your relationship. Yeah. So and what your needs are. <coughs> I think that can change. I think that can change. You, on a macro level, you concur. On a micro level, you're willing to note and share that you are an example of that it can change mm -hmm. on a micro level. Okay, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Um, how about we interrupt for some feedback? Rochambeau is mm -hmm. sharing some kind sentiments that we might be setting a new record for the most number of views and hits. What? Do we have... Wait, what? We only have him, like, we need more people to respond in our chat right here. Where's all my fans? Where are my fans? Where are my fans? Well, Robin, I'll transition to that if agreeable. But giving the dojo its due, Rochambeau is here in the dojo, and he's being complimentary in that um, people are going to play this back, and it could potentially set a record for the most views we've ever had of any episode of the Outlaw Dojo. Thanks for that feedback, Rochambeau. I see it the same way. I look forward to setting a new record. Yeah. DJ Rock and Robin, other feedback has been coming in uh, via smartphone correspondence. Multiple fans, Robin, have been texting me that they really like you. Wait, what, 
where are your multiple fans? Because I only see Rochambeau right now. I want to see more fans. Well, kind of in the world of multimedia, some are in the dojo. I want to see more fans. I want to see like more some fans are respond. right there. Well, I can't see that on here. Like they need to respond to my. They need to respond. Robin, I'm gonna jump on the air in a minute, in 15 seconds. No, that's fine, but I need some response. But I, but I'm just sharing with you, like. And I feel like my I feel like I'm holding back from being ornery, but only ornery in a satire way. So if I if okay. I appear ornery, it's only satire. I assure you, it's only satire. We're setting a new record of potential. This show's mm-hmm. going to get played back more than any show ever. Is it really? Yep. That's Is Rochambeau's instincts. That's my instincts. Okay, well, come on, people. But I'm also sharing with you what some people are texting me to share with you that mm. they love rock and robin one one mm. one person just said i love robin one a different person said let robin talk more okay another person just texted heart signs but the point robin i'm sharing with you is some folks are communicating to me to you that they appreciate you well, why do we see that on our feed i want to see the feed I want to see well that. here comes the satire part I don't have my personal text messages live streaming to that, that screen. Mm. I'm not that high mm. tech. That was mm. Waylon Jennings. I'm little. DJ Hondo here in the Outlaw.fm satellite radio studio. Thanking y'all for tuning in to Stone Jacks O'Clock live broadcast Wednesday. Mm. Okay, Robin. So we're clearing the deck. People have been texting me to let you know they appreciate you. Well, I haven't seen it. I want to see their comments right here. I want to see it. Those comments are not going to be able to make it to to that screen. That's just too high tech for me. I wouldn't know how to begin to get my personal text messages on on a computer screen. So you just have to take my word for it. Okay. So now that you know people are appreciating you, only the people in the dojo are in the dojo. We can't control what we can't control. Okay. So I'm asking you to just continue as you see fit. Do you want to talk more love languages? Do you want to request an artist? Do you want to take questions? Mm-hmm. Do you want to ask Rochambeau how he feels he communicates his love, past or present, etc.? I don't know. I think I need to know your love language, DJ Hondo. Okay, DJ Rock and Robin, you feel like you need to know my love language at present, how I think and feel I, I express know. love. I already know, though. Expressing or receiving? Uh, receiving? I feel like I receive love. The language I like to receive love best is in the language of a back rub. Physical touch. I knew it. Under the umbrella of physical touch. I knew it. I knew it. Yep. Yes. Okay. Yep. So you knew it. You knew it. Mm-hmm. When you said you feel like you need to know DJ Hondo's love language, the one you already knew or the one in the inverse in terms of how I express love or how I think I express love? No, I think it's more about what you want. It's not about how you express it. Because what you want, I feel, should be the same as what you... Like, what you express should be the same as what you want to receive. Okay. Don't you think? Ah. No? No, no, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking, like... I think that would be great. I think I value your opinion. Please share more uh, with respect to why and how you think it would be ideal to express love in the same language that you receive love. Please elaborate on that continuity and singularness would be ideal. So I'm thinking if, if I'm a physical touch person... And I want, like, physical touch, hugging, kissing, making out, holding hands, whatever. I would want my partner to have the same, to want the same things. Otherwise, if they don't want that, 
and that's not congruent with that's not a congruent love language honestly right congruent love languages i like that so let's say if they're not congruent that's not ideal it's not, not as really. ideal as if they were congruent right not really I can see that. I can see that maybe one of the uh, concepts to be investigated in the book. So if I was a physical person and they were not, that would be a dis that would be a detraction to me. And or an obstacle to be aware of to optimize and maximize a relationship success. So having yeah. the clarity that it's not congruent could be helpful to know ahead of time. Yeah, I think so. Because it's not like you throw in the towel because it's not congruent, like but you're aware I, of I that. I feel like your first love language should be congruent. Two and three is fine. Like, two and three, whatever, you can figure that out. But if the first one is not congruent, that could be an issue. If the first one's not congruent, it could be an issue. So clarity on the lack of congruence could be like clarity helps success. Yeah. So, Robin, please continue. Please act like I'm not on the air here in a second. Okay. DJ Rock and Robin, I say mm -hmm. what we need to do is change Quattro Toro's party oh, light. Oh, we got a party light? Nice. I no, bet she'll find that color agreeable. I'm all for a party light. I'm fine with a party light. When everything in here is on mute, it's interesting that I still get the dings. I know that's my dings. I, I just That's yeah. me dinging. We have seven computers in here or smartphones and which one's dinging I still don't know but I can handle it okay we're gonna get some sentiments from Quattro Toro here shortly nonetheless if agreeable you were speaking to the congruence the optimization the less friction that is romantic partners primary love languages being congruent feel like you made a great point on how congruent would be simpler easier more natural more perfect but what do you do Robin when a, a couple's primary love languages are not congruent what do you do when they're not congruent <laughs> I honestly don't know I don't know because I didn't even know what love languages are up until like three months ago so, I don't know. You just effing get divorced. <laughs> Whoa. Right. Okay, you see, now divorced. you're bringing out the satire. Now you're bringing in the satire and the much humor. I, sorry, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I, I have an answer for it. Yeah. But it, I feel like that should probably be part of the conversation when you get together. Yeah. If it's okay. not compatible, then maybe you should just part ways. No ghosting. No ghosting. Part ways. Like, oh, this isn't meant to be. Move on. Totally fine. It's okay. It's acceptable. Don't effing ghost. That's what I'm saying. Don't ghost. And there's a little no turn ghosting. back the clock to an earlier segment. Don't ghost. Robin, that might not actually be part of the final edited version but earlier a segment was the topic why ghost and if agreeable let's not relive it but earlier we talked about why ghost after we talked about what ghosting is mm -hmm. then we talked about the concept why ghost okay because you're immature so you know what you don't want to move forward with anything fine just say I'm done not compatible, not working, not right at this time, anything. It could be three effing words. Doesn't matter. Just don't not say anything. Honestly. Honestly. Honestly, nothing is worse than something. Just saying from experience. Just saying. And that's some real world, real time advice and pep talk encouragement on the topic of ghosting mm -hmm. via DJ Rock and Robin wiser words have never been said thank you DJ Rock and Robin mm -hmm. for that turn back the clock throw back to an earlier conversation we had 
on this same episode 2415 then we transitioned into love languages and i feel like in a satire way i just want to note the satire if two people's love languages primary number one love languages are congruent that's one side of the ditch Mm -hmm. that's one way to go that's excellent Mm -hmm. smooth sailing the other side of the ditch that is a couple's primary love languages are not congruent chuckle chuckle the true other ditch is divorce aka throwing the towel but of course there's a lot of knee slapping and chuckling there i think the author of the book would say hey when you and your loved one's love languages are not consistent not congruent instead of throwing in the towel a way not to get divorced is this book i just wrote so if you read the book book? and then you and your partner read the book you wrote a book seriously robin i don't know what i'm saying did you write a book no i'm saying the author of the book the five love languages i think it's by definition a self-help book to help a couple get through non-congruence to have a roadmap and to have some digestible tangible things to think about and then talk about to keep from throwing in the towel to keep the relationship going that's my interpretation of the true value of the book but in a chuckle chuckle oh if your love languages aren't congruent then hit the road so i get that's just you being funny right i'm not being funny i'm just saying that I didn't I didn't know anything about love languages when I got married 25 years ago and if I did that might have been different I'm just saying it might have been different maybe I should have known that maybe it didn't effing matter because at that point no it doesn't sometimes it just doesn't matter Sometimes it doesn't matter. Sometimes it doesn't matter. Sometimes a great (laughs) book and some great concepts to consider and think about can be put into a book to digest and apply. Mm -hmm. And I think you said it all, like not there's one thing that says it all, but Mm -hmm. I think you're giving credence to the concepts in the book when you Mm -hmm. said, if I would have had the book earlier in my life, if I would have known about the book, and, and by saying knowing about the book means know about the concepts in the book that might have been beneficial so i think that's good advice that backs up and but supports the, the book the problem is that's what i'm saying it depends on the stage of your life because you could be in one stage of your life in one lang- love language have children your whole perspective on life changes and that changes your relationship and so if you're not on the same page, out the door it goes. And Robin, please keep going. Please elaborate. Please elaborate. You want me to elaborate? So we can you practice. You don't want me to elaborate. Well, you don't want me to elaborate. It, you don't want me to elaborate. What I really mean is try to test you being on the mic and me being on the mic at the same time. Hmm. DJ Hondo here with a shout out of appreciation to Stone Jacks O'Clock listener Jeremy H. and family. How about I back it up a little bit and say, how about a shout out of love and respect and appreciation to all grandparents? Here's to grandparents, which means here's to grandchildren inversely. Specifically, here's to Jeremy H., and your grandchildren and your entire family, thank you kindly for tuning in to Stone Jacks O'Clock on Outlaw.fm. Hope you find this one agreeable. It's called San Antonio Stroll. Okay, 7% of those dings were from a listener, Jeremy H. But 93% of the dings have been from a spectrum of fans, Robin, who have been saying, they appreciate you. I'm just going to read one. Man. Why aren't they right here? If I could stop getting dung, I would love it so much, but it's just not going to happen. Okay. I would take the ding off if I knew where the ding was coming from. I just assure, mm. I assure everybody. 
Robin, here is some feedback. And they're not magically going to start showing up on that screen. So I wish they would, but there's just nothing I can do right now to All make right. them show up there. I really wish I could do that. But one, okay, this is the person that said, let Rock and Robin talk more. That's obviously on me. Sometimes I do the show alone and I just jaw, jaw, jaw because can't have any dead air. Okay. Okay. And then here is someone sharing some thoughts that I love Robin, right? I am a huge fan of Rock and Robin. Okay. So you are getting the feedback mm -hmm. that I know we all love words of affirmation. So I'm sorry they're not showing up in the dojo per se, but they are showing up. Okay. Robin, let's turn it over to you. Mm -hmm. We are a classic country, outlaw country radio station. Mm -hmm. Do you want to let the love languages marinate a little bit and you share some thoughts about your thoughts? Share some thoughts about your thoughts regarding classic country music, maybe some artists you like or that we should all uh appreciate sure so when let's see so when i was growing up i love clint black alan jackson johnny cash um who else i don't know like i have to play some i need to hear some tunes to play them john michael montgomery um Are we going to play some tunes from them? Clint Black is like coming back on tour. I know. Clint Black from Katy, Texas, outside of Houston, from Texas. He's from Katy, Texas? He's from Katy, Texas. Oh, nice. I've been to Katy, DJ Texas. Hondo here, where I am joined by assistant DJ Rockin' Robin. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Clint Black. DJ Honda was just letting DJ Rock and Robin know Clint Black is from Katy, Texas, just outside of Houston, Texas. We'll bring you some Clint Black pretty soon. First up, here's a song called Back to the Bar Rooms Again. That's on, okay. That's on the radio station? That was out on the, on the station. Oh. All right. Yeah. Okay. Nothing but the taillights, how does that sound? Clint Black, nothing mm -hmm. but the taillights. Sure. Are you familiar with that song? Mm hmm Okay. I'm slowly unplugging different devices off. Oh, okay. So if That's the ding good. keeps going, we are, we're narrowing it down. We're narrowing down the ding. All right. That just shows all the fans you have and all the people that are coming in with requests and comments and feedback and appreciation. Mm -hmm. The more dings, the more, the more great you know I that, that you're doing. I want to hear a lot of dings. I want to hear a lot of dings. I don't know if where, I've heard so many where dings. Where are my dings coming from? I, I want to hear where my dings are coming from right now. Ding, ding, ding. I, I want to know who my dings are coming from. See, that's how Rochambeau knows this Tell is going to be where a... where my dings are coming from. Where are my dings coming from? I don't know. I only see here. Robin, hmm. I'm driving the car, talking on the phone, and handling the money at present. So I'm not going to be able to. Hmm. I'm not going to be able to ID the dings. Hmm. My main goal, well, we just so you know, is to ID shut the, the dings, dings off. So I won't be able to hmm. identify the dings. Hmm. But I will be able to turn it over to you. I highly respect and appreciate that you prepared for the show. We've talked last week and this week about how you want to come back and do another dojo. Here you are doing mm -hmm. another dojo with notes. The floor is yours, DJ Rock and Robin. Mm -hmm. Please, um, of course, please know there's no right or wrong answer or right or wrong topic, but this is your episode. The title of the episode is DJ Rock and Robin. We showcased Robert Henry and the Repeaters at the very, very beginning, and now we turn it over to you, DJ Rock and Robin. Oh boy, this is a lot of pressure. All right, I just.
just want to say my topic for the evening was ghosting and whether you've experienced it or not it's fine like I'm not going to say it's just it's a very unique experience coming from an early 50s year old woman recently divorced it's a very unique experience um, maybe you've been in the dating world for like years and you've experienced it I don't know it's just, it's just a weird experience and I just wanted to address it because everybody probably has different experiences right like I don't know Good and bad. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about it. Robin, genuine, heartfelt sentiments. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your willingness to share mm -hmm. and uh, and clarify. Mm -hmm. Topic: ghosting. <laughs> Check. Robin, how about we transition into a closing out topic right after I say, be sure and visit artwithwords.com, updated weekly. Artwithwords.com is the place to go for gifts. If you have a retirement party, someone having a birthday, newborn, someone getting married, engaged, go to artwithwords.com. All the readable drawings that are frameable keepsakes that are original art prints, they're all themed or categorized at artwithwords.com so you can find a variety of different original art prints for a specific theme such as someone's birthday. The art itself likely matches up with a pursuit or passion such as horseback riding or golfing or fishing or a couple getting married, or a family reunion. Long story longer, don't overthink it. Just go to artwithwords.com whenever you need a gift. If you also like geographically pretty cool artwork on t-shirts, go to artwithwords.com and check out all 50 states and the mm -hmm. New York boroughs and the individual Hawaiian islands and US territories. So geographically pretty cool is my domain artwithwords.com has t-shirts with geographically pretty cool artwork as well as frameable keepsakes the perfect gift for every gift related occasion use promo code keepsakes at checkout when you check out at artwithwords.com DJ Rock and Robin, we turn the floor back over to you. Mm -hmm. Ghosting check. Love languages check. Mm -hmm. How about I'll go on the air here in 40 seconds and announce Robert Henry and the repeaters since we are live at Washougal Times while you share why we need to watch and know Robert Henry and the repeaters. Oh, they're so amazing. If you have not seen them in person... You need to come out to experience them. I don't know when they're going to be back here at Washington Times. Maybe not for a while, but go to their Facebook page. Like their Facebook page. Find them where they're going to be playing live. Go experience them. They're amazing. Good dancing tunes, for sure. And, and please keep going while I say this. And that right there, Outlaw Universe, was the Clint Black just for DJ Rockin' Robin and all the folks tuning in from the Port of Portland, Oregon to Washougal Times Restaurant and Lounge proper. That Clint Black song was called Nothing But the Taillights. This song's called Demons and Dreams by State of Oregon Outlaw Country Band Robert Henry and the Repeaters. Upcoming events at Washougal Times includes Saturday, June 1st. Robert Henry and the Repeaters will be playing live at Washougal Times Restaurant and Lounge. That's Saturday, June 1st at Washougal Times in Washougal, Washington. Robert Henry and the Repeaters. Here's a little taste. Well, that's a long time, June 1st. We're in like April. That's like two months away. I think the dings finally stopped. 
I think okay. um, remind me to put a piece of tape on that piece of equipment right there. Oh. Okay, today is Wednesday, April 10th. In two Wednesdays from now, what? Wednesday, April 24th. Oh, I got my, I got, I, I can't, I can't be here. Sorry. Wednesday. I can't be here. In two Wednesdays from today, Wednesday, April 24th, Robert Henry and guitarist Justin mm. will be here mm. on that episode of the Outlaw Dojo on the Hearing mm. is Fun YouTube channel. We look forward to Robert and Justin joining DJ Hondo and DJ Rock and Robin if she's available. If she is not, we might have a Ron Chant sighting. Regardless, we look forward to history being made Wednesday, April 24th, when Robert Henry and Justin, the guitarist from Robert Henry and the Repeaters, are in the studio. They'll be playing live into your microphone, Robin, hmm. around the world on hmm. Outlaw.fm. That broadcast will broadcast their music live hmm. on the air, and then there'll also be guests right there. Hmm. That would be episode 2417 of the Outlaw Dojo, April 24th. Hmm. Robin, does that upset you that Robert Henry's singing will go out on the air on Outlaw.fm? No, it does not upset me. But I wish I could be here, but I probably can't. Maybe I will show up. I don't know. We hope you do. God, and so now that, now that came across as me being extra critical, I thought I was serving you up to... Again, in satire, get upset that we're going to let Robert sing on the air when we don't let anybody else talk on the well, air. Well, I won't be singing on the air, so it's better him than me. Yeah, I messed that one up. We're going to get you on the air. How about we make that history right now? DJ Rockin' Robin, mm -hmm. let's do this. Okay. Okay. Do you mind bringing your stool over here, and we're gonna make history? Nope, nope. If the stool comes right here. All right, that's a lot. That's a lot. It's a big ask. It's a big ask. Okay. All right, here we go. That good? I think that's great. Since you didn't take Wait, the no. bait, Here I am. let's do this. Perfect. Here I am. Okay. Here I am. I'm going to try to fill in. we got a minute and 30 seconds. I'm going to find a good song and remember. Better be a good song. Yeah. First things first. Hang on. Nobody freak out. Robin, what I'm trying to do is. Before we let Robert Henry make history and let him, quote, sing on the air mm -hmm. when we haven't let you or anybody ever besides DJ Hondo talk on the air, mm -hmm. oh, we're going to do one more song. Cause I, I, we, right, Robin, please share what's the reason why we don't have anybody besides me talk on the air on Outlaw.fm. Please share why. We don't want to violate the FCC guidelines. That simple. Thank you for just now being straight and serious. That's, of course, why. I, I was a broadcasting major, and I was a radio DJ for a non-nonprofit, and I did perfectly fine without swearing on the air, but apparently you won't let me on the air because you think I might do something in violation of the FCC guidelines. Totally fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, I'm, now you're kind of the laundry basket. Now you're Fine. getting definitely into the details, but that Fine. is all correct. That's all correct. Fine. You have a background in media. I have a broadcasting degree. A degree in broadcasting and journalism. <laughs> it's fine though. I'm fine. I don't need to be on the air. I don't really don't care. It's fine. Robin, don't you see what's going on here? No, I don't. We're putting you in position to go on the air, right? Because only this microphone's on the air. I don't want to be on the air. I don't like to be on the air. Robin, too late. I'm a late. behind the scenes person. That's what we're, like, why do you think we're sitting like this right now? Mm-hmm. Okay, we have two minutes mm -hmm. 
to practice. Robin, can, can I just champion this next segment, please? Yes. Before we let Robert Henry make Outlaw.fm Stone Jack So Clock history and get on the air, even though he'll be singing, I want to make sure you're the first DJ or person to be on the air. So that's what we're doing right now. So we need to decide what we're going to say. I propose we say... My mind's going right now, but I propose I'm going to say 102.7 FM. And broadcast around the world on... Outlaw.fm. Does that sound like a good place to start? Yeah. 102.7 FM Camus Washougal and broadcast around the world on... Outlaw.fm. Perfect. And then, of course, we'll say it into this microphone. And, and that's that's a good start. DJ Hondo and... DJ Rockin' Robin. Thanking you kindly for tuning into... Outlaw.fm. Robin, that sounds great. Does that sound great? Well, I, I thought so. Is, are we not recording that? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So... Practice it one more time. 102.7 FM Camus Washougal and broadcast around the world on Outlaw.fm. DJ Hondo and DJ Rock and Robin. Thanking you kindly for tuning into Stone Jacks O'Clock. Stone Jacks O'Clock. Boom. Robin, that was perfect. We're gonna talk it loud and proud into this one right here. In three, two, one. 102.7 FM Camus Washougal and broadcast around the world on Outlaw.fm. DJ Hondo and DJ Rockin' Robin. Thanking you kindly for tuning into Stone Jacks O'Clock. Got a request for this song by Waylon Jennings called Dreaming My Dreams with You from the Willamette Valley. Oregon. Okay. Let's see how we can hear it. Got it? You got it? Maybe take those off. Can you hear it out there? Can you hear it through the window? Robin, that was fantastic. Respecting the dojo. Thank you all for tuning in to episode 2415 of the Outlaw Dojo on the Hearing is Fun YouTube channel. DJ Hondo and DJ Rockin' Robin. Yeah, baby. Outlaw.fm. Out. And that's how we wrap it up, Robin. Let's go put Quattro Toro's party light on. Rose Shambo, thank you very kindly. When and if more of Robin's fans show up, we might jump on the air so she can collaborate. But Rose Shambo, thank you, thank you, thank you. We had more fans than Rochambeau, but the number one fan in our hearts is DJ moderator Rochambeau. Thank you kindly, Rochambeau, for moderating the Outlaw Dojo. When more of DJ Rock and Robin's fans pour in, we might be back. I'll be back to talk about Stone Jack seasoning. But Rochambeau, I get it. You need to live your life. And, and thank you for just being here and the support. And I'll give... DJ Rock and Robin, your best. I'm giving you my best. Thank you, Rochambeau and the Outlaw Dojo. DJ Rock and Robin and DJ Hondo are gonna step out. Thank you kindly.
<laughs> that song is Then It Turns by Dennis Lowry. Speaking of Dennis Lowry, up next on Outlaw.fm includes songs by Dennis Lowry, Porter Hall, Tennessee, A Stone Jacks. Well, just check out Outlaw.fm. DJ Hondo is out. Found the dings. Found the dings. Couldn't be more grateful for folks checking this out now or later. I got to get some air. It's now time to say this. Want to know why our barbecue ain't working right here? Because we don't have any stone jacks. And we don't, don't like that. Because we need stone jacks for our meat. And we don't, don't like, like that, that, darn it. it. Thank you kindly from Geek to Chic. New bottles of Stone Jack's all-purpose food seasoning coming soon to the website StoneJacks.com. StoneJacks.com always has apparel, tank tops, hoodies, hats, and t-shirts. Next episode will be 2416. We look forward to having author and poet Rochambeau back with us in the dojo to dig deeper into one of his books, I Am the Darkness, A Journey Through Unspoken Thoughts, a book of poems by author E.R. Inahosa. Thank you kindly for knowing it's available for sale at Amazon.com. Shout out to artwithwords.com. Shout out to Stone Jacks. Be sure and use discount code, promo code Hondo when you check out at stonejacks.com. <laughs>